back. Breaking news in the race for the White House. Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York has just announced she's ending her campaign. Our political reporter, Arlette Sines, is joining us right now. Arlette, Gillibrand, she clearly failed to qualify for the next Democratic presidential debate. That's right, Wolf. And the Democratic primary field is sh slowly shrinking. Kirsten Gillibrand, now the fourth candidate to drop out of the 2020 race in just the past two weeks. A Gillibrand aide telling our colleague Dan Merica that the senator made the decision to drop out of the race after a conversation with her family last night and that not making that debate stage was a factor. <laughs> The next Democratic primary debate in Houston, one step closer to being set. The debate likely a one-night event with 10 candidates. And for the first time, Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren are preparing to take the same stage. I'm just going to be me and she'll be her and let people make their judgments. I have great respect for her. The tougher polling and donor standards leaving out half of the Democratic primary field, with Tom Steyer missing the cut by one poll. Some of the candidates off the debate stage remaining undeterred for now. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely staying in the race. It's missing something mm. by not having my voice. But, you know, again, it is what it is. But tonight, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand dropping her presidential bid. After more than eight incredible months, I'm ending my presidential campaign. I know this isn't the result we wanted. We wanted to win this race. But it's important to know when it's not your time. With the next debate two weeks away, a new Quinnipiac national poll shows Biden leading his closest rivals by double digits, similar to his advantage in a CNN survey released last week. The Quinnipiac poll showing the top five Democratic contenders each beating President Trump in hypothetical head-to-head -head matchups. Today, Biden taking his pitch to South Carolina, where black voters make up the majority of the Democratic primary electorate. We can't just campaign to beat Donald Trump. Black Democratic voters are a key component of Biden's support, with 46 percent saying they back the former vice president. Biden telling a group of black reporters this week, people know me, or at least they think they know me after all this time. They have a sense of who my character is and who I am warts and all. Biden also told that group of reporters that he would prefer to pick a woman or a person of color as his running mate. But he did add that he wasn't quite ready to commit to that just yet. He wants to make sure that his choice is authentic and that that person will be on the same page as him. Wolf. All right, uh, Arlette, uh, Arlette signs in South Carolina for us tonight. Thank you very much. Just ahead, President Trump's former defense secretary, James Mattis,